open your uh, text editor and with the resources you've downloaded, if you've not already downloaded them then now's the time, um, take a look at um, folder v1 file game.js and near the beginning of that we're going to be looking at um, this section here which is all about creating a preloader. 3D assets tend to be you know, pretty large and we're going to be very keen on supporting mobile in this course and so the first thing we're going to do is create a, a loading bar. We're going to give it the assets that we're going to load in which in this case is just our animations and our girl character. So we're creating a, a little simple uh, JavaScript array which is the name of all our FVX assets. We're then going to define where we find them. If you're using the default for um, this course and you're not moved anything around then we have a v1 folder and in the same folder as the v1 folder is an assets folder and in the assets folder is the FVX folder which has got a load of animations and it's got the environment for the game. We're creating a little options um, object. It's going to have a property which is assets which is a, an array. It's going to have a property which is a function that gets called when the preload is completed and in this instance it's going to call init from the game. Remember in the preloader this will refer to the preloader so we need to make sure that we store game as a variable and use that in our function. And it's going to call init and once it's called init it's going to call that animate. Animate will be called anything up to 60 times a second depending on the speed of your device. Using the anims array and the for each method of an array then we can call a function which will be provided with a property which is each one of these names and we append a path. So that's the asset path with fbx forward slash and then the animation with dot fbx added to it. So by the time we've run that the assets is going to have each one of these prefixed by dot dot forward slash assets forward slash fbx girl dash walk dot fvx. So the full path to that particular asset. And then using this options object we create a preloader. So let's have a look at the preloader class. Here's the preloader class. It first creates a property of the preloader which is the assets. It then works through the array of assets paths that are being passed in. It creates a property of the assets which is this path and defines the, how much have been loaded and whether or not the loading for that particular asset is complete. And then it calls load of this class for that particular asset. It defines the look of the loading bar which is easily edited here. And, and then in the load class it loads in, it's, it creates an XML HTTP request to load in that particular asset and in the on progress for that particular um, HTTP request it assigns the amount that's been loaded and what the total um, size of that asset is. So that can be, all be used 
in the on progress for the loader so we can work out how much has been loaded of all those multiple assets to display the bar. You don't particularly need to know all that information. The, probably the most important thing is to be able to edit that to change the colours of it, the width of it, whether or not it's got rounded edges, etc. Um, and you'll need to know how to actually call it in the first place by defining your assets and what happens once the preloading is finished. To see it working, go to your web server for Chrome, make sure the folder you're pointing to is the resources for the game that we've just um, that you've just downloaded or you've downloaded earlier. Go to it, you should have a folder that says lost treasure. Go into that, choose V1, and there you can see the preloader working. And it should load in that. And once she's initialized, she'll start doing the animations. And if you can actually use the this on-screen joystick to to move her around. So that's the first stage in your creating of this game, creating the preloader that allows the user to see that all the assets are being downloaded from the internet.